<clears throat> All right. Hi, everyone, and welcome to TWF Friday Night SmackDown. And why are we doing Friday Night SmackDown at 1 in the after day? Because we had to go to Quest Diagnostics. And then from there, we go to the American Frith Center. And that took a big chunk of the day. So, hi, I'm Michael Cole, here with Edward Collins and Corey Graves. And today on Friday Night SmackDown, we're going to finally have the World Heavyweight. Yeah! Why here we're going to have, we're going to hear from Diva Talk about the World Heavyweight winnings. And uh, it's been held by Dennis Rodman. Um, Michael Cole said, yeah, we are going to hear from uh, Diva Talks, Michael Cole said, over the world heavyweight winnings. Uh, we are, Edward Collins said. And I hope that whatever her, whatever Diva Talks is going to talk about, I hope it's going to be good, Edward Collins said. Me too, Corey Graves says. I hope it's going to be a good show. Well, first off, Diva Talk says, I got one of those stands to help me keep me up. Now, today we're going to talk about the World Heavyweight Winnings that's held by Dennis Rodman, you know, Jun Un Kim, the uh, over leader of North Korea, or the land leader of North Korea, friend. Wow, I can't really can't call them friends. Um, you know, the former NWO follower, the former windowball player, the former wrestler, former show player. Oh, you get it, you get it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Dennis Rodman come out, him in his out of date NWO shirt. Because I got something to tell him. First off, Dennis Rodman, you know how out of date your shirt is, don't you? You know how out of date that the shirt you wear is. That the NWO has been truly dead since 2002 YL. And that is at least eight between, eight between years ago. Well, if you can't help that that's a shirt that Toy Biz gave you to wear, you can't help that. But I just want to point you out. Two, you haven't been to the TWF World Heavyweight Winnings, which you seem to be a big, uh, fall, big backer of, hasn't been on the show as much as the heavyweight winnings. And I know you're going to seek some way to blame that on me and say, oh, well, I handled the writing. I handled the booking. Well, I didn't handle the writing or the booking, Dennis Rodman. I have nothing to do with the writing or the booking with some time. Well, what you do have is a hang-up, you know, Diva Talks, with me. Yeah, I got a hang-up with you, Dennis Rodman. I want to knock you off my uh, off my shit list is what I want to do. So here's how it goes, Dennis Rodman. Since you've been truly out of date with the NWO t-shirt and all that shit, I seeked out someone who wants to fight you for the TWF World Heavyweight Winnings. But keep in mind, it's not who you think it is. Well. It's not Elgar, right? And it's not Kurt Hawkins. I don't really know, Diva Talks, who you want me to wrestle and uh, fight here on Friday Night SmackDown. Oh, I put some thought into that, Diva Talks says. I could have you go at anyone. Just look at all these lockers, I'll call them. And there's a lot of dolls in them. And a lot of them would like to go for the TWF heavyweight winnings but the way I look at it is sometimes you have to sometimes a woman has to do if you can't seek the good man and you got to seek a good woman 
don't get me wrong, the men and the women, anyone who wants to come for your winnings will have a fun time doing that, Eva Talk said. So the one I came up with to fight will be Kalistro. Kalistro? Yeah. Well, thank you, Diva Talks, for uh, giving me this seat to fight Dennis Rodman. Now, you might one, you might think to yourself, Dennis, what kind of hang-up are you in now? You're in a bad hang-up with me. But don't get me wrong, I'm not how I used to be. I'm not, you know. I know all about you. Uh, I know all about you, Kalistro, and your hatred for Xena, and how you seek to kill her, and how she, how you blame her for how she, how she killed your kin and everything. And the grounds to why they even picked you is, I guess, that they were couldn't really come up with anyone, anyone good enough to face you face me, I should say. So what they did was, they said, oh, so at the end of the day, me and you are going to fight. And if we get a fight lord in the ring, maybe I can actually beat you. What's that? Michael Cole says. Ah, well, what's that? Michael Cole says we got we got Calistro is gonna fight Dennis Rodman here in Friday Night SmackDown. Yeah, Edward Collins said, who would have thought that was gonna happen? And we know we gotta get a fight lord in the ring now. That's right, Corey Graves says. Ta-da! Guess who it is? It's Diva Talks. Who would have thought that? No, no, it's not me. Diva Talks says. I'm not going to do anything to F you over. It's going to be a fair fight, Dennis Rodman. I'll let you know that. Well, you see Michael Cole. You see Edward Collins. Diva Talk says it's going to be a fair fight. She's not going to F him over. Well, this is for the TWF World Heavyweight Winnings. First, he is the World Heavyweight Winner, Dennis Rodman. And she is from... I guess from Kara, I don't know. She is Diva Talks. I mean, she is Kalistro. And there always seems to be a fight over how does one say that name. And is Kalistro a Greek name or is it a Spanish name? Either way, it's a borrowed name, Michael Cole said. But is Kalistro a Greek name or is it a Spanish borrowed name, learned name? Well, Mike, well, I think Edward Collins, I believe Kalistro is actually a Greek name. I believe. I could be wrong about that, but I believe it's a Greek borrowed name, learned name. And some folks say that it's a Spanish borrowed name, learned name, because there's an O at the end of it. And how is it even said? I don't know. Dennis Rodman just took the bell of the ring, and when he did that, oh! Kalistro just did that. And now she put a finger in his mouth. She did what mankind always wants to do. What mankind did. She put the finger in his mouth. And oh. But Dennis Rodman. Isn't letting that happening. And he's starting to fight back now. Michael Cole says. Dennis Rodman. Hitting Calistro. With all his. With his fist right now. Calistro. Coming up. Oh. And then, oh, this is done here. This is done. But oh, one, one, two, and a kick out. Michael Cole says. Well, Dennis Rodman is actually kicked out, and Calistro doesn't like that. Uh, Edward Collins said. There's still there's fights still in Dennis Rodman. Edward Collins said. How much fights are going to be? The dirty thing. Oh, he just nailed Calistro with the dirty thing. Uh, Michael Cole said. Yeah, Edward Collins says. There were, he hit him with the he hit her with the dirty thing, Michael Cole said. Dennis Rawman just hit Kalistro with the dirty thing. That's right, Edward Collins said. And now Dennis Rawman's gonna get the one, two, three. I don't know. 
I don't think Dennis Rodman can beat Kalistro like that. I don't really think so. Hold on, what's that there? Diva Talks got the TW the World Heavyweight winnings. I don't know what that was all about. Oh! And another DDT by Calistro on Dennis Rodman. Oh, that was good, Corey Graves says. I thought Diva Talks coming out there. But that wasn't Dennis Rodman's hang-up. He couldn't keep his eye on Calistro. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. And a new TWF World Heavyweight winner, Calistro. And now Calistro is now the new TWF World Heavyweight winner here in the TWF. She beat Dennis Rodman to win the World Heavyweight winnings, Michael Cole says. And another, that's a sad thing, Michael Cole said. Diva Talks had to come out here and besmirch the fight, besmirch the match. Diva Talks didn't besmirch nothing. Uh, you, I'll tell you right now, Edward Collins said, Yeah, you're right, Michael Cole. Diva Talks did come out. She did besmirch the fight. She did besmirch the match by by uh, getting Dennis Rodman to look at her. Hey, it ain't my fault that Edward Collins said, It ain't my fault, Corey Graves goes, It's not my fault that Dennis Rodman was dumb, took his eye off of Calistro, and put his eyes on Diva Talks, and that's how he lost the real heavyweight winnings. Well, I understand now that Renee Young is now going to talk with Calistro in the ring now. Calistro, you are now the new TWF World... Oh! Forgive me. Well, Calistro, you are now the new TWF World Heavyweight... Whoa. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess you gotta get a stand, too. All right, Calistro, you're the new TWF World Heavyweight. Win you're the new World Heavyweight winner. You beat Dennis Rodman, but you did have help by Diva Talks. First off, then uh, first off, Calistro said, "I didn't see any of that. I was on the ground. I was looking up at the. I was looking up at the at the ceiling. What do you want to call it? The sky, the lights. So I didn't see Diva Talks." come out and do what she did to Dennis Rodman. All I knew was that Dennis Rodman wasn't on me. And the next thing I knew, Dennis Rod next I knew Dennis Rodman and Diva Talks were looking at each other. But I had nothing to do with Diva Talks coming down. And I will give Dennis Rodman another shot for the TWF World Heavyweight winnings. You know, says I believe that Diva Talks had no business being in my fight. Me and Dennis Rawman should have had a fair fight, a fair match. So I had nothing to do with it. But then I had to do what I had to do. Because I knew that Dennis Rawman would hit me with another dirty thing if I didn't hit him with a DDT. Oh, I know Mankind, he won the WWE heavyweight winnings three times that way. You know, I know he beat The Rock, free, he beat The Rock and Steve Austin once, I know that. He uh, beat The Rock. He never... Well, I know that he did a lot of... I know. So, I wish that my friend Mankind, who is in one of those chests over there, who hasn't been seen in some time, I wish he could be out here to be with me since I win the new World Heavyweight winner. But I also want to let Dennis Rodman know that I did saw what Diva Talks did. Oh... I did see what Diva Talks did, and I do think that was wrong. So if he wants to have another shot at me, then I'll let him. Then I will give it to him. Does that sound right? Yes, Renee Young said that does sound right. Diva Talks. It does sound right, Calistro. You beat Dennis Rodman, and it's the first time you were the world heavyweight winner. Well, I was at least a three-time TWF Enderland winner. I was at least a two-time TWF team winner of Mankind, but I've never been the world heavyweight winner. So I want to say, I did it, you know, just back, you know, along, you know, I did it. And Dennis Rodman, if he comes back out here, one, say something. Uh, Dennis Rodman? 
if you are an honorable, if you are an onlooked woman, as you say you are, Kalistro, then thank you for giving me this time to let you know that I will have my return fight, my rematch for the World Heavyweight winnings. And that it will happen. And that I do believe you when you said you had nothing to do with Diva Talks coming out and putting herself in the fight, in the match, which she had no business doing. But I will let you know, uh, Calistro, I will, I worked hard to become a two-time World Heavyweight winner. Just like I worked hard to become a two-time TWF Heavyweight winner. So I will work hard to become a three-time World Heavyweight winner. You know? And no, and I'll say, you did a good job, Calistro, fighting me. It was a good fight. It was a good match. And even though Diva Talks besmirched it in some way, I still believe it was a good fight and a good match. Well, Dennis Rodman, I want to say thank you for showing on look and good sportsmanship. How about we shake hands? All right, Dennis Rodman and Kalistro are going to shake hands now. And they do. And I understand that Kalistro and uh, Dennis Rodman are going to have another fight sometime down the road for the TWF World Heavyweight Winnings, Michael Cole said. When that's going to happen? Sometime next month, I would think. At our next show, that could be either hardcore, hardcore heaven or one of the former, some former ECW show. We don't know which, when that new, what that new show going to be. But it is what it is. Michael Cole says next month, sometime down the road, we don't know when that's going to be, uh, Dennis Rawman and Kalistro will fight again. And I do wonder why Diva Talks had to do what she did. If Diva Talks wants to get Dennis Rodman off her shit list, uh, Corey Graves said, um, Edward Collins said, then pulling, doing that stunt, that lark, put, hey, isn't, isn't helping. Hey, Corey Graves said she got the world heavyweight winnings off of Dennis Rodman and on Calistro. So she did some way get back at Dennis Rodman. And Dennis Rodman, he is wearing an out-of-date t-shirt. The NWO has been dead for about eight between years, Corey Graves says. Well, it's all the time we got here for TWF uh, Friday Night Smackdown. I'm Michael Cole for Edward Collins and Corey Graves. We hope you like Friday Night Smackdown, and we'll see you tomorrow for main event or main show.